In Creole Parametric, you can perform a draft check in order to ensure that your parts are capable of being created in a mold or a cast. Here I have a shower head. I want to make sure that it can be molded. So to perform a draft analysis, you're going to go to the analysis tab over here. Here in the inspect geometry group, we have the draft command. Here is the draft analysis dialog box. First, it prompts us to select the surface or surfaces that we want to analyze. I'm going to tap the right mouse button until I get all solid geometry to highlight. Next, we have to pick a direction for our pull direction. So for example, if this was in a mold, what would we be pulling from? I'm going to click in here to activate the direction collector. You can also hold down the right mouse button and select the direction collector. And I'm going to use the datum plane called front. And right now it is showing me the results. One thing though, I can see that the arrow is pointing down. I actually want the direction flipped. We can click the flip button. Now you can see with color coding the amount of draft that we have on here. One other thing to note is that you can specify the necessary amount of draft. It uses three by default, which is a lot in many cases. Sometimes you only need one degree or two degrees of draft, but let's leave that value of three. Here we have our quality slider. You can crank this up over here and increase the quality level of the calculations. And now when we take a look at this, we also have our color scale over here. And so you're going to see these different colors. So if you see any gray in the model, like we have over here, those are for your verticals. In other words, things that are straight up and down. And that might actually cause a problem. And actually, in this particular case here, we have an undercut. So we would need some sliders in order to create that. And where you are exceeding your amount of draft in the positive direction, you can see the blue color that you're going to have. If you have anything that is not vertical but less than the minimum amount on the positive side, it's going to be in this lighter blue by default. In a moment, I'll show you how to change that color. Let's flip this over so we can look on the other side. And generally, you want to see the same colors on both sides of the model. So right now, I can immediately see a problem. We've got some blue located on the under, underside, which we really should have this sort of like reddish color all on the other side. So that means that we've got draft in the wrong direction on these different pins over here, which means that we would not be able to release this from the mold. That's a problem. So what we can do is from the drop down list, we can choose to do this as a saved analysis. That'll give you that persistent display so that the results of the draft analysis will be on the computer screen as you're working. You can change the name if you want, but I'm happy with that name. Let's click the OK button. And now if I ever want to access that, I can go to the saved analysis dialog box and here it is in here. I could turn off its display or I could edit it if I wanted to. But again, what I want to do is I want to make sure I change the draft in here for this particular surface. I will select it and then let's use the edit dimensions button over here. And looks like the dimension is over here. And right now we have three degrees of draft. Let's change that. I'll do negative 1.5. So it'll be in the right direction, but less than the amount that we are checking for. And that way you can see that it changed color, but it's not that deeper reddish color like we had before. Let's click out of here. And now let me go back to the analysis. I'll go to saved analysis and select it over here. And then use the pencil icon to go back to the dialog box for this, just to show you some of the other different options that you have for controlling this. Let me close the saved analysis dialog box here in the draft analysis. If you go to this downward arrow over here, you've got options for changing the color. So right now we are using uh, distinct bands of colors 
they're non-continuous. If you click on this button over here, you'll notice that it's not going to have the distinct colors between the ranges. And it's going to use more of contours between the different surfaces. Let's go back to the distinct contours. Alternatively, instead of using the default blue, gray, and reddish colors, if you use this button over here, you could change to more distinct colors that you're using. These are This is the old color scheme that was like back from Pro Engineer Wildfire, so it was a lot more distinct where you could see on the positive side you had this magenta, red, yellow, and then cyan and blue for telling the different colors in between here. And you could also use this button over here if you wanted to load a custom color scheme or save a color scheme to the file. Let's go back to this choice over here. And I also want to show you that you can change the ranges in here. Even though we did a draft at three, you could use these different values if you wanted to see any areas that were over two degrees of draft, uh, positive or negative on either side over there. So that's just something that you have over there. Another option that you have from the info button here is that you can get a tooltip display. And now as you move your mouse over the different areas in the model, it's highlighting where it appears in the color bar. You can see that there's this little red arrow over here. So you can see, oh, okay, there's where, you know, negative 1.5 and it requires draft over there. And this one, negative 43 degrees, hey, we are good to go over there. And then over here, zero because it is vertical. And similarly, we could rotate this and take a look over on the other side of the model. And as we move the mouse over on the different areas here, hey, we've got positive draft. And you can see that the red arrow in the color scale is pretty much maxed out all the way up at the top. Let's hit the middle mouse button to get out of there. And now we still have the persistent display. When you're done seeing the display, you can just again go to the saved analysis and then just click on the little eyeball, which will turn off the display. And that's how you can use the draft analysis tool for checking your model for sufficient draft for molded and cast parts. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.